What's going on guys, this is Astrum Sensei and welcome back to Let's Create an Action Role Playing Game in Unreal Engine 4. So in this video we're going to be adding a equip sword animation with uh, like a real sword that you equip and unequip when you press a button. So it's not really an equip, it's more like a draw sword and sheath sword that way like um, like in for example in games like devil may cry when you're exploring you don't you're not holding the sword but you want when you want to fight you press the battle uh, like the attack button and you uh, the character dante he grabs his sword from his back and he uses it to attack his enemies but in this game we're not going to be like directly attacking we're just gonna for now i mean when we add the, an attack button uh we'll do it like when you press the attack button and the sword is not drawn he, he, the character quickly pulls it out and attacks but for now we, you you have like the one button you press it and you grab the sword and when you press it again she puts it she puts it back behind her 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 uh, back I noticed there's a problem with the cloth over here, but I'm gonna try to ignore that. So yeah, in Mixamo, you wanna download either this animation, for if you wanna put the sword here. I might do that, no, 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 I don't wanna do that. Uh, I'm just gonna use this one, and maybe I'll replace the character in another video. So for now, let's, I, I already downloaded the object uh, the animation i created a combat folder in the animations and i imported the animation and then i right clicked on the animation i pressed create and created an anim montage and this is the anim montage now this will be explained later for now just leave it at that as for the sword we'll be using i'm actually going to be using a sword from the Infinity Blades weapons pack. So this is free on the Unreal Engine marketplace. You can download it and add it to your project whenever you want. Or if you have like your own sword that you've modeled, you can just use it. But I'm gonna be, I, I already chose a sword from there and I exported it from the from the infinity blade weapons i'm gonna show you how quickly because we we don't want uh, these swords they're all um, static uh, they're all skeletal meshes and it's better to use a static mesh for the sword so you see uh, you pick your model i already picked this one let me show you this one it's really nice it's noble and you right click you you, you uh, where is it? Asset actions and export as an FBX. So do that, and when you import it again, I made a folder called weapons. Now I'm not doing this stuff in front of you because I actually already recorded like half of this tutorial, but I noticed that the record button. I forgot to press it, so that's horrible. That's really horrible. Uh, so this is the last, the last step I did. Uh, like I deleted everything else I did. So this sword, you import it as a static mesh, and I took all of the um, textures from the sword folder in the pack, and I made a material that's a duplicate of this one because some, for some reason I couldn't move it and I applied it to, to my static mesh so now it's ready to be placed on our character and then now we're gonna start actually doing stuff because um, yeah this part I need to show you so yeah there's a lot of time that I wasted with that because I forgot to press the record button oh my god so you create a new input a new um, input in your project settings and I called it what did I call it oh my god okay I called it weapon one and as for the 
input. I chose the one button for now. Now I might change this later. I'll tell you if I do. But for now, one is good. And then you want to go to your static mesh, to the skeleton section, and you want to add a socket for where um, you want your sword sheath to be. So I'm going to go with left shoulder and add a socket. This is where the sword will be when it's not in your hand. So I called it, uh, what did I call it? Sword, oh no, not sword, weapon, sheath, one, one, yeah, one. And as for the other thing I did, in our right hand, I made a socket for the sword, like when you, ha when you, when you're holding it, so uh, I'm gonna call that weapon, hand, socket oh my god i can't believe i forgot to click the record button this is hell <laughs> i went into much much depth explaining everything and now it's all gone okay so over here in our character blueprint we're going to be choosing the mesh um, component and in here we want to add a scene mesh. I'm gonna call this one weapon sheath one for now. I might change anything later, so make sure you keep flex your keep your mind flexible about it. And you want to add another. Uh, actually, let's add the static mesh. This is gonna be called sword off. Nobles. I actually renamed my sword in the in the um, version where I forgot to click the record button. So that's that's a waste. I made a lot of jokes. And in the static mesh, I'm gonna choose it. <laughs> Whoa! It's coming out of her chest, but yeah. For now, that's good. What about this one? Okay. So over here we should adjust our we don't want to adjust our sword location using the sword mesh we want to adjust it using this scene component so let's do that right now quickly i already did this in the version where i recorded i forgot to click the record button so mm, what a waste Okay, this is annoying when the animations are turned on, so maybe I should turn them on for a bit. No, oh, where is it? Animations... Where is it? Pause anims. Okay, this is good. Now we go back to our weapon sheath thing. And we... And something really annoying happened. That is that our cloth here, our cape, is getting in the way of our sword. But, like, I might change the character model for our main character. But I don't want to because I want to add cloth simulation for this cape. So, for now, I'm just going to stick the sword like this. Without it, like, getting in the way of the cloth like without them actually colliding because it would look like i don't want to get demonetized <laughs> so yeah this is good let's check her from the back okay now let's test it and see if it works why is she not working oh my god okay we want to enable animations again let's check it out over here uh, okay it needs to be wait a minute i don't want to mess with this one i want to mess this with this one so okay that's good i didn't
Okay, this is good. So let's test it and see if, if it's stuck. Okay, so now the sword is stuck on her back. Why is it moving like that? Okay, it's fine. Yeah, it's stuck on her back. It's not in the middle, that's annoying. Uh, but yeah, it's stuck in her back and it won't fall, I promise. You can sprint, you can crouch and it won't fall. But let's place it in the middle and try it out. Okay, that's good for now. We might uh, fix it later, but for now that's okay. And under mesh, we want to create another scene component. And we want to call it weapon in hand. And I'm just gonna move the sword. Why did I call it Sword of Nobles? Oh my god, Sword of Nobles. And in here, I'm gonna do the location again at everything at zero for the sword because we really want it to be at zero. So uh, now, where is it? This scene component, we want to at attach it to our weapon hand socket. Did I attach this one? Yeah. Okay. And we want to move our scene component in a way so that it does not... Um, like, it's, it's in our hand, so I'm going to disable animations again. Where is it? Animations pause animations and I'm gonna fix the sword maybe I should save okay let's enable animations again and see if it's good Hmm, there's something about it that needs to be fixed. Let me see. Maybe we should like rotate it like this. Yeah, this is more badass. But it's no longer in her hand, so I'm not gonna do that for now. Now for the animations when you have the sword actually equipped, I'm gonna be changing them in another tutorial. But for now, this is fine, I guess. Let's see, maybe we can just a little bit make it rotate it like this. No, not the sword, we don't want to rotate the sword. We want to rotate the scene component. Make sure to remember that because that's very important. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, this is good. Like, it, uh, it annoys me with this animation because, like, the sword's almost on her face. <laughs> she dies from it. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to the uh, event graph and we're going to create a new event graph. We're going to call it combat event graph. So, we'll do that right now. Combat graph. You know what? I'm just gonna go go with combat or battle, I guess. And in here, we wanna try our uh, input. So, what did I call my input? I don't remember. Actually, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go back to the game and see if uh, I'm gonna go see if what my input is called. So. Weapon 1, I'm gonna change that to draw weapon for now because there is no other weapon so I guess draw weapon does the job for now so in here draw weapon and we want to create a condition as always so I'm gonna create a new variable and I'm gonna call it draw oh no weapon drawn and I'm gonna put it here set weapon drawn pressed so if we press the weapon drawn we set the weapon drawn to whatever it is not so we get the weapon drawn variable and we use a not boolean 
and after this we want to add a branch with the condition being this one and if it's true wait let me make this bigger okay if it's true we want to play anim montage And the reason we're using an anim montage instead of an animation is because we want to edit the animation to be just the upper body so that we can draw our weapon and unequip it, like put it back, while walking, while sprinting, while crouching, and the animation itself comes with the leg movement, so that's why we use an anim montage because with it we can do that and after that we want to add a attach to component mesh and the mesh will be the sword as for the parent will be the weapon in hand we're actually gonna place the sword back in th into the weapon sheath because that's the default val uh, the, the default uh, state of it. So we start the game with the sword unequipped, and the socket name will be what was the socket socket name? Let me check. Weapon hand. Weapon hand. Weapon hand socket. So. Make sure, make sure you don't have any typos here, because that will mess up your game. So, um, over here, keep world, keep world, keep world, and maybe we should add a delay before this, because uh, it's while the animation is playing, like we wait for it to play, then we do this. So, our animation is. Like until she grabs her hand, like she put, she grabs the sword. It's 0 0.7 or 8 seconds, so I'm gonna do 0 0.8. And after the attach to component, uh, let's first let's um, copy all of this and paste it to false. So if we if the weapon is not drawn, we play the animation montage, but instead of placing the sword into the weapon in hand socket, we place it into the weapon sheath one socket, not socket, the scene component. And as for the socket, we also do the same thing. Let's check the socket name. It's weapon sheath one. So I'm going to name it weapon sheath one. I really hope I'm not mispronouncing sheath. That's the way. I find I like I research how to pronounce it and that's the way it is so <laughs> I really hope I'm not messing that word up now I think we're ready to test it for now mm, let's try it out we're walking okay what the hell is going on okay there's something wrong for with the sword because when I press the equip button this happens and when I unequip this happens and the animation is not played so there's definitely something wrong going on let me see okay so this is what we do first of all I'm gonna get the sword of nobles I'm gonna delete it from this one and I'm gonna connect them to the same um, using the same get and over here I wanna make a move component 2 and this is here and this one so in either case this happens and the time I think I will make it 0 0.4 let's try 0 0.4 compile and play see if it works now it does work but the animation is also not playing so I don't know what's wrong let's see mm. here it is why is it does not why doesn't why does it not play so this is my mistake I made a very small mistake 
but it's big in, our, in its results, so let's try it again. And it works. Now, maybe we want to make this a little faster, so we should try our play rate as 2. This makes it play twice the speed, and our delay is 0 0.4. 0 0.4 and this one maybe 0 0.1 or 2 let's try 2 play press 1 okay this is good this is how fast you would do it if you were gonna fight and let's check if the sword actually actually like is in a good position because when she grabs it, we want to make sure our hand gets on it, so it does not at, at this moment. The sword moves a little towards her, so this one, I'm gonna try to push it back a little bit. Oh my god, this cloth is ruining my life. Okay, this seems fine, let's try it again. Now it sucks, it sucks the way it looks, but... It's more realistic when you grab it, so I guess that's good. Maybe we wanna make this a little more, you know, longer. So let's try 0 0.3. Now this is the time uh, the sword, this is the amount of time it takes for the sword to move from the sheath to her hand, so... Okay, this is fine for now. We can adjust it anytime we want, so... Yeah, this is this is the small stuff. It's it's more related to the animations and how you set it up, not uh, to the code itself. So for now, we're good. Now, what we want to do is we want to fix how she, our legs, play the equip animation when she's doing it while walking or while sprinting or even while crouching she stands up and she grabs it instead of just grabbing it so to do this we're gonna do one simple thing uh, it's not one thing like it's one simple set of events and that is we're gonna go to our animation montage and we're gonna create a new anim slot I'm gonna call it upper body and we play it for this one. We move this a little bit to refresh. So now we created a new slot and we'll go back to the animation blueprint this time to the anim graph. Oh, I hate this part. I don't like the anim graph. Now over here, we wanna, from this default slot, we wanna cre create a Pose, pose, uh, save new safe cast shade pose, and we're gonna call it default pose. Let's not use spaces for now. And over here, we wanna create, we wanna create another one. Pose, just pose, pose. Mm, where is it? Okay, I I remember. We wanna create a create slot no slot maybe this one can we rename this no we can't oh yeah we want to create a slot default slot and choose upper body from here this is where I messed up we don't need any of those and we're gonna use a default pose here like this and wait, did I um, mess it up? Mm, yeah, this one. Want to use this one? Cache eight pose, default pose. And after this upper body slot, you want to do a layered blend per bone. And uh, mm, let's see. I think this one's here, and the this one, another one of this, is here. And you want to connect the, this one here, finally, we're done with the, um, the animation blueprint. 
But before that, actually we wanna mess with this one over here. We wanna change this bone zero to, where is it? One, and over here, bone name, make it spine. That way, from the spine towards everything over the spine, like the whole upper body is now layered by itself. So let's try it out. So if we click play and we equip, now we can do it while running without disrupting the running animation and while walking, while sprinting and while crouching. Now the only downside to this is that you don't get any leg movements when you're grabbing the sword when you're idle but I think that it's worth it because come on you don't wanna move your legs when you're walking and that would look really really awkward so yeah guys that was it for today's video let me just try one thing and that is to adjust the cloth thing because it's giving me nightmares with the way it looks so I'm gonna change that right now let's see over here maybe I should just pull it back a little bit and play yeah this is better now the hand is a little behind the head but that's no problem so let's try it out again now it doesn't collide with the cloth and that's good now I don't know if I want to remove this cloth like this whole model and change it with another one because I really wanted to make this cloth move with the movement, so yeah, I don't know. You guys vote. If you want cloth simulation in this tutorial, I can do it later and not change this. And if you don't want it to look awkward, I can change the character model. So I really hope you guys, I really hope I helped you guys with this video. And I hope you click the like button and the subscribe button and the bell button. Now I'm finished with this tutorial so in the next video we're actually gonna be attacking like playing the an attack animation when we press the mouse button so yeah guys I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and see you next time